Hello students and welcome to a very short mini session of AMP2 lab. I just wanted to go over our course site real quick and uh, update you on what you really should be doing to be successful. You technically have four weeks to complete a whole semester of work. So if you have not gone here yet, you log in, you go to our Canvas site, you see our homepage. Um, everything is in the module section over here. So you get used to clicking on that. And there's some things that I need you to do fairly quickly. So first of all, <clears throat> we're going to have a module that will have our practical and our physiology exams in it. And then four weeks away, we're going to have our final uh, exams will be in this module. This module is just some links to help you with some school stuff if you need to. It doesn't necessarily directly relate to our course. So I'm just gonna minimize that. Um, as far as office hours is concerned, you just email me. If we need to do a Zoom meeting, we can. Um, and if we can take care of it via email, then that'll be fine as well. But um, our primary mode of communication is gonna be via email. Now, in the Start Here module, um, you can click on this link. It'll take you to the ADA syllabus, uh, my syllabus addendum, um, and I think I put our testing schedule and announcements. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, this is just a fall calendar. You don't really have to worry about that, but you're going to have to click on this link says Respondus. If you don't have Respondus on your computer yet, you need to do that today or technically our class starts Monday, but I opened the course early. You have to have Respondus on your computer in order to take your examinations, your practicals and whatnot. I need everybody to do the student contract assignment and the verification of identity assignment. This one will require Respondus. So if you don't have Respondus yet, you have to download it and install it on your computer first. Uh, from within this link and then come back and do the verification of identity uh, assignment. You will then have to click on the engage link right here. This is going to be our online uh, homework site. This is your online lab manual and we also have graded quizzes here. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to open it. And then this is what it looks like. So everybody has access to the first two exercises for free. Even if you're taking this class over and you purchased an engage code previously, you're going to have to purchase a new one. So we actually are going to go through a testing unit per week. So you're going to be covering a lab pretty much every day, not quite, but on average. So at the end of next week, we have our first testing unit already, our first practical, our first physiology test which is gonna include information from exercise one, two, and three. So this week, you're gonna to have to purchase the code because you won't have access to exercise three material within the Engage site. So to purchase the code, you're at the top of the page, you're gonna click this here button. Now it has been given some students some trouble. So when you click the here button to go in and purchase the code, uh, upon checkout, it's been giving some students some trouble. One workaround with that is to go up here in uh, your browser window, copy this link, say copy, go open another browser window, paste the link into that browser window and hit enter and then try and check out from there. If it still doesn't work, just shoot me an email. and. Um, I will uh, get with you to try and fix whatever the situation is. So let me just click on exercise one, show you what the website's going to look like because we're working out of this engaged site and our canvas site. So I'm going to click on exercise one, which is the endocrine system. There's all sorts of extra learning activities in here. You may or may not do this. This is up to you. We don't have a whole lot of time. It's not like a regular semester course where students have more time and they can leisurely click on everything. If you have enough time to do that, fine. The two 
areas that are the most important in the engage site is at the very top of each one of the exercises. When you click on it, you'll see printable PDF for the exercise. This, I'm gonna click on it. This is the online chapter of our lab manual. So this is the, our lab manual, all right? So you have access to the online manual. Now to get back where I was, I like to just click over here. However, you have this running link board up here at the top. All you have to do to go back one, you can click here if you want, or you can click here. I just always go over here. You can do it either way. Just get back into the front end of the exercise. And the second link that's the most important will always be under graded quizzes. So you're gonna have a graded quiz for each section, each exercise that we cover. So you have to get used to logging in, clicking on engage, and at least coming in here, you can read your chapter and do the online quizzes. All right, so we're gonna have an online engage quiz, but you also have quiz work to do out of our Canvas site. So again, you have one of these for each. So I'm gonna click on, I'll just click on this one, exercise three. So some of the exercises have more links than other ones. So to get to the quiz, you just have to scroll down the page until you see graded quiz. So you always go down the page to look for graded quiz, click on the quiz and take the quiz. So you're gonna have to get those completed. All right. Now that's about it from engage. You have the printable PDF and you have a graded quiz to do. And you need to be doing work obviously every single day in this class. So I'm gonna go back to our Canvas site, and go to modules. Here you see our first mo module. Now I have a couple of Zoom meetings in here. One of these was like from the summer, I uh, just left it in. This other one is you know, from the semester, the class that I'm doing now. The more you look at, the, more, the better. I will just say this as well. You'll always have pre-lab assignments, which will be up here at the top. You'll have post lab assignments, which will be at the bottom of the module. And you need to make sure that you're completing the pre and the post lab assignments every day. Notice I put the due date, October 8th. I put the due date for all of our Canvas quizzes, pre and post lab assignments as October 8th, so that I wouldn't have to go back in there and reopen them. But they're not due on October 8th they're due immediately when you're doing the exercise work. So lab one technically is Monday. Lab two is Tuesday, lab three is Wednesday, so forth and so on. So technically Monday, you should have gone through this entire learning module for, for the endocrine system and completed your pre and post lab assignments along with that engaged quiz that I just showed you. All of that's for Monday. Tuesday, you're doing the heart lab the engage quiz, the pre and post lab assignments and going through your learning resources. So all of your learning resources will be down in the middle and you'll see that I have uh, some Zoom meetings as well uh, posted in here that you guys can look at. These were from another class, but basically it's the same material that we are learning in our module as well. So our first testing block is pretty much at the end of next week. It's gonna cover exercise one, exercise two, and exercise three. So let me show you at the top, if you don't have notifications turned on, so that when I post an announcement, it'll go to your phone, you should turn them on. You do that by hitting your account button over here and going to notifications, all right? And setting all your notifications. If you don't have it turned on, you're gonna to have to get in the habit of clicking on the announcements. It'll bring you to the announcements page and you see I have some announcements posted already for you to start reviewing. And one of these, I posted our testing schedule right here. So let me pull that up just to show you. Already next week, Saturday, September 26th is when the first testing block is due. So your first practical, your first physiology test due on Saturday the 26th. Our second practical and physiology test is due on October 3rd, and your third testing block is due on October 9th. Now, starting on October 10th through the 13th is fall break. 
but you're probably going to have to be studying through there because our final test is on is due by October 14th so that I can get all the grades done on the 15th and turned in by the 16th. So this is the testing schedule that we're following. You can see at the end of each week, you're having a major testing block to complete. Now also, if you ever have any questions about anything, the material, um, you find some mistakes, anything like that, you're gonna be shooting me an email and we'll be conversing via email and then, um, if we need it, if I need to set up a Zoom meeting for you, uh, then we'll do that. All right, well, email me if you need me, and uh, I hope you have a good start to the semester. You have to start now, that's why I opened it, so you can get a jump start on it. Um, if not, make sure you keep up with the work every single day.